Do you know that there is a very big gap between the amount of food we produce every day and the amount needed to feed all people in the world in the future? Based on estimation, there could possibly be 10 billion people on Earth by 2050. That means even more food supplies are needed to feed us all in the coming future than what are already being supplied today. Because of this, many experts and scientists are finding ways to solve this food scarcity in the future. So, watch the video from beginning till the end to see what they've found out to solve this futuristic problem. Hi everyone, how's it going? Richard Aguilar here and welcome back again to my channel. So, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you'll always be updated with our new videos. In this video, you are going to see some incredible ideas that could possibly feed billions of people in the coming future. So, without further delay, let's get started with our video. Number 1 is High-Tech Vertical Farming Could Feed Billions of People As our population grows, the resources we need are shrinking and so farmers and scientists around the world are finding new solutions to feed billions of people. Because of industrial development, advancement, and urbanization, we are losing important arable lands every day. Increasing food demand due to a growing population along with ever decreasing arable lands poses one of the greatest challenges facing us. Many experts believe that vertical farming can be the answer to this challenge. Just like what you see in here, this is just one example of many high-tech vertical farming systems already in existence nowadays in order to tackle scarcity of arable lands to grow food plants. Number 2 is Aquaponic Farming Saves Water and Could Possibly Feed Many Aquaponics, a system of farming that uses no soil, also uses far less water than traditional agriculture. But while the technique is gaining attention, it remains a very niche way to grow produce due to economic limitations. It just so happens that the work those fish do every day, like eating and producing waste, is the perfect fertilizer for growing plants. Because of what they do every day, fish can grow a lot of plants when they get to work.
Because of this system of combining aquaculture, which is raising fish, and hydroponics, which is the soil-less growing of plants, that grows fish and plants together in one integrated system. Many believe that this could be a solution for feeding billions of people in the future. Number 3 is, China's largest dairy farm could possibly feed 1.4 billions of people. In this largest dairy farm, more than 20,000 lactating cows are milked, meaning they will produce over 650 tons of fresh milk every day. According to the reliable source, milk and dairy product consumption quadrupled among urban residents in China from 1995 to 2010 and nearly increased sixfold among rural ones, making the country the fastest growing market in milk consumption. About 6,607 hectares in China's Anhui province, alfalfa is known as the king of pastures. Alfalfa is rich in nutrients and works as a good animal feed. Number 4 is another great idea is to feed billions of people. By 2050, the global demand for food will rise by 60%. Wageningen University and Research is looking into new agricultural solutions, including vertical farming and robots, to help with farm labor, as well as ways of protecting staple crops. Number 5 is, Korea invested in aquaculture. Experts in South Korea are inseminating the sperm with eggs to be able to breed eel, and they say finding the right timing and feed are critical, which is why it takes decades to perfect the process. To speed things up, the institute has invested over 5 million US dollars in eel aquaculture since 2008.
Four years later, in 2012, they cultivated artificial eel eggs, and three years after that, they hatched their first glass eel, which produced its own eggs. Number 6 is the rise of advanced vertical farming. A variety of methods that can cultivate food more safely have garnered a lot of attention. Vertical farming enables the cultivation of crops all year around in the city regardless of climate change by controlling the light and temperature. Also, it has reduced possibilities of disease and insect pests, so it has emerged as a new type of agriculture in urban areas. A vertical farm has recently been established at a subway station which is a sunless place. It is a small farm which was built inside the subway station at an underused space. it has collaborated with an automated system which enables robots to take care of sowing and harvesting, it has captured a lot of attention in the market. And that concludes this video for today. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.